All right, folks, welcome to my cooking show. My name is Mark, but everybody outside the, the West, they call me Marcos. Tonight, I'm gonna cook some chicken and rice with vegetables, and I'm just gonna put together, I'm just gonna put together a sauce. Nothing about this little cooking show is scripted, so if you're looking for a two minute how to make dinner, this is not it, folks. Okay, if you're looking for uh, professionally produced and edited video, you're not in the right place. But hey, if you just want to hang out with me in my kitchen while I cook for my Filipina, my beautiful girlfriend who's running the camera, then you are in the right place. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you're a man cooking in the kitchen, the first thing you do is get a beer. All right. And then what, what I want you to do is pop the top on that beer. And I want you to pour a cold glass of beer. All right. And I've said before in my videos, anybody who thinks that a man in the kitchen is weak or, or a pussy or whatever, then fuck you. All right. But the first thing I do when I'm cooking, I get me a beer. I love to drink while I cook and cook while I drink. Mmm. Oh yeah. All right, so let's get started. Let me show you around, okay? Now look, I've got this elaborate kitchen. All right, I live in Thailand most of the time. I live in Southeast Asia, Thailand, predominantly the Philippines. And I've got this elaborate kitchen where I'm staying right now. But folks, I cook in two things. I got a little wok right here. And I got this little small rice cooker. Now, to be honest, that's all you need to make a beautiful meal. And I'm going to show you. And what I've got right here is my fresh vegetable plate left over from last night. And typically what I do so I don't waste food is my fresh vegetable plate, anything left over the night before, it gets, it gets stir fried. It's still delicious. And then if I go to the market, which I did tonight, my fresh vegetables tonight will be the fresh vegetable plate. Um, you know, these are just a day old, but I like to put those in the stir fry. Over here, earlier in the day, I had my Filipino chop up some uh, onions and some garlic, a little bit finer than I usually do. They're back here, got, got all the spices going on, but basically it's salt and pepper and a little soy sauce. I'm going to throw down with this garlic wine vinegar, do a little experiment with that. And also I'm in Thailand, so a lot of people cook with oyster sauce. We're going to experiment with that, and I'm also going to throw in a little bit of this uh, sweet chili sauce. Now, you come over here to this man, this is my own little concoction here. And I had the ref, the refrigerator, too cold, so all this stuff froze up on me. But I've got dried peppers, I've got fresh chopped peppers, garlic, and uh, olive oil. Folks, this stuff is delicious. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to use some of that. And then my oil over here froze because I had the refrigerator too cold. So come on over here, I'll show you what I bought today at the market. Alright. And if you're wondering what this green thing is, well, my uh, my thing here has got a leak in it, so I had to put a little bandage on it to keep that bad boy from spraying me in the face. All right, so I got some fruit right here, but that's not going to be part of the menu. I'm just going to set that aside. All right, so what do we got, folks? I bought some green onions. I like to chop that up. I got a pepper right here. A little bit of basil. And we need more garlic. I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, I'm going to use garlic bean. And folks, all this plastic right here, this is too much plastic, but I do use these as uh, garbage bin liners. They get repurposed and recycled. And we do carry our bag with us, but they still end up giving you plastic before, before you can stop them. Plastics are killing our ocean. We all need to do our part. So I got some onions and a couple of tomatoes, folks. So the first thing I'm going to do, no matter what country you're in, you got to wash these vegetables, all right? 
got to wash these vegetables, wash them down. You don't know, you know, what, what kind of contaminants have been on them, whatever. So I give them a quick wash down. I wash everything. Wash everything down. All right. And then let me show you here. I bought some fresh chicken from, uh, from my favorite chicken guy over there. And this dude, he's got all parts of the chicken fresh. Nice guy. So I got some chicken right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, again, this plastic is, is too much. I do what I can do, but 100%, 100%, I can't eliminate it from my world right now. All right, so I go ahead and I like to wash this chicken, folks. And my Filipina, she loves chicken feet. But for the past two nights and lunch the past two days, all she has ate is fried chicken feet. And I told her tonight we're not eating chicken feet. We're going to eat some chicken. But this is, this is fresh chicken from the market. All right. I know my man over there, nothing but fresh. And so what we're gonna start out, folks, we're gonna just chop this stuff up. We're just gonna start chopping stuff up. That's what we're gonna do while we drink beer. And first of all, what I wanna say is I wanna thank everybody for joining me. You know, uh, who am I? You get, folks, I'm a nobody. I'm just a regular dude. I grew up in the US. I, in 10 years, I've lived in the U.S. for two. So when people say, where are you from? I say, well, I used to be from America. Because I don't live there. I don't really don't know what's going on in America. People ask me about Trump. I, shit, I have no idea. I don't really have any idea about what Obama did. I haven't been there in a decade. I live in Southeast Asia. I live out of a backpack most of the time. I live in the Philippines. Sometimes I live in some villages. Uh, but who am I? I? I'm just a dude with a video camera and I, I like to make videos to entertain people. Thanks for joining me. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and this is the type of videos you're going to get. They're, they're not professional, pro professionally produced, but you know what? They're authentic. It's just me talking to a camera and most of the time I'm drunk. But I am a great cook. So if you want to see some, some good cooking videos that are real, then just follow along and I'm going to show you how it's done. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do, now look, I don't get too scientific. I don't get too scientific about my measurements, right? Because I'm not good at measurements, I'm not good at math. So I'm going to start out with a cup of rice, I'm going to get going in the rice cooker. And when I say cup, this is just a metal cup. I really don't know what unit of measurement this thing is. But to me, that's a cup of rice. Okay. So we're going to come over here to the rice cooker. And I just got this little, I just got this little rice cooker right here. This is a, this is a five cup rice cooker. So I put, oh shit, I got rice everywhere. So I'll put a cup of rice in over there and let me get some bottled water. <clears throat> I, I use this bottled water right here most of the time because these are returnable bottles. So you pay a deposit on these bottles and when you finish them up, the guy comes, takes the, uh, the old bottles, delivers new. It's, it's, it's very cheap here in Thailand. And a lot of people use a one-to-one -one on the rice, but I just, I don't go there. I use like a two-to-one at least. Because when I use a one-to-one, -one, my damn rice always sticks. So I think if we go with the two-to-one, we're looking at one bottle, and I'll probably put a little bit more water in there later. And I use this little steamer here for my vegetables. It goes on the top of that rice cooker right there. And plug that bad boy in. And it, when you plug it in, it, it comes on warm, so what you got to do is flick it over there to cook. So the rice is on the way, alright? You can't, it's hard to screw up rice, other than the fact that the rice is going to stick if you screw it up, and then you got to clean it. 
So now comes the part about what am I gonna what am I gonna do? So what I'm thinking is what I'm thinking is this. I'm gonna take yesterday's plate of fresh vegetables and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with some salt. It's a little sea salt right here from uh, McCormick or in Thailand, but I'm gonna hit this heavy with some salt. And I'm gonna hit it heavy with some pepper too. right there. I'm going to hit that heavy with some salt and some pepper and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my fresh vegetable plate from yesterday which is just still fresh one you know one night in the fresh it's still fresh but I'm going to move the fresh vegetables over here and tonight they're going to become steamed vegetables. So so look at that folks we we've, we've got Vegetables ready to go, gonna be steamed, and the rice is cooking over there. I mean, shit, that's that's a meal in itself right there, people. Let's try to keep things clean as I go. I'll clean this up. Let me get the rice out of the way here. All right, thank you, camera lady. So, uh, put the rice back in here. All right. Now. What are we gonna do with the stir fry? Oh my goodness. Well, tonight's stir fry is going to be so damn delicious that I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. All right, onions and garlic. And what I'm gonna do is chop the chicken. I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna marinate it in there. But listen, I'm not big on technical shit, right? There is no science behind the way I cook. There, there is no science behind it. It's, it's just a pure art form. Okay, what, what I do, there's no rhyme or reason. But I think that most cooks are trying to make shit too complicated because they want to just justify that they're, you know, they think they're a professional chef. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't give a shit about all that. So what I'm going to do is just chop this chicken up a little bit here. And I'm so drunk I got this on the wrong side of my cutting board. <laughs> so let me cut down these channels. It would be helpful if I had put the cutting board on the other side. Alright, so we're going to take this and just put it right here. In with our, with our garlic and our onions. There we go right there. And I don't, you know, I'll cut the fat off this chicken, but like, I don't prep it too much. I just cut it up into small, small enough pieces that I like, and then we'll go with it. Sometimes I leave it in these big pieces, shit. Basically what I'm doing is cutting each one of these chicken strips into thirds and dropping them into our little concoction over here. Now, you know what, majority of my subscribers are males, 80% of you are males. And I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and all, all you do is just kick back with a beer. And, and watch my videos after a hard day at work. And I want you to know, man, I certainly appreciate you joining me. I mean, I can't believe that 500 and something people like to watch my videos to the point they would, you know, subscribe. I'm very humbled by that and very appreciative. And, you know, if you're kicked back with a beer, if you're kicked, you're kicked back with a beer and, uh, watching my videos. Damn, I appreciate you being here. But I'm going to give you a challenge, gentlemen. Okay? I'm going to give you a challenge that 
if you're sitting on that easy chair watching this, pick one night out of the week and pick one of my recipes and cook for your wife or cook for your old lady because she is going to love you if you do. I promise you. And I'm going to say this in probably every video. You know what women really, really are attracted to? And it's, it's, not, it's not money. It's not an expensive car. Okay? And just take a look while I tell you this, folks. Women want a dude who can dance and cook. That's what women really want. All right? Maybe they want money for the security aspect of it, but the minute you turn your head... If there's a dude who can cook and dance, then, then he's fucking your wife. That's just the way it is. All right? How do you prevent that? You learn some goddamn cooking skills. How do you learn that? Well, you sit here and watch my YouTube videos. All right? You don't need 500 bucks to take a cooking course. You don't need to watch Emerald or that other fat bastard, whoever he is. I mean, whatever. You watch the goddamn King Marcos cooking show right here, and I'm going to show you how to make your wife love you. I promise you. I promise you she's going to love you. All right, so I got to get two, get a little bit more of these uh, little green onions here. A little bit more, just chop off, and you ain't got to be scientific about it. Just, just cut off the damn roots. Just cut the roots off here. Cut the roots off. Okay, just chop them up a little bit. Just chop them up a little bit. That's it. Chop them up just like that, okay? These things are going to make it extra, extra delicious, my friends. All right. So we got this in here. Now I do have a little Thai basil. And not everybody, not everybody's gonna be down with the Thai basil, all right? All right, let me talk about this. We're going straight up with some soy sauce here. And don't be afraid to use the majority of the soy sauce. It's just the way it is. Now this is Kiko, man. And for Thailand, this is this is a hundred baht. That's about three bucks. That's an expensive. That is an expensive bottle of soy sauce because usually we use this cheaper stuff. This is another type of soy sauce going down there. Now, folks, this is oyster sauce. All right, and you don't see this too much in America. There we go. I gotta pop the top on it. But over here. Everybody cooks with oyster sauce, just the way it is. And when it, when you make the sauce and it cooks down, I mean, this, this shit is delicious, all right? So tonight, I'm going with oyster sauce. Damn, get that off of there. And this is thick, this is thick already. Okay, so I'm just gonna eyeball how much oyster sauce is going in here. But I'm going to tell you, this stuff is damn delicious. I eat Thai food all the time. Everything's got oyster sauce in it. This shit is damn delicious. So we're rolling in with the oyster sauce. Okay. Now, this is a new, this is something new I'm going to try. This is a little garlic wine vinegar. And, you know, I'm not a big fan on, on, on vinegar. But a little bit of vinegar in there. My wife is telling me, yo, slow down on the vinegar. She's telling me not too much, but a little bit of rice wine vinegar and a little bit of my concoction of the olive oil and the pepper sauce. And folks, we have, we have something going on here that is, is approaching a masterpiece. Let's hit it with the pepper. We're gonna hit it with the pepper, just plain ground, you know, ground pepper. And I gotta hit it with some salt. All right, and one more item. 
All right, this is going to be the secret weapon here. Don't tell nobody about this, gentlemen. Don't tell your wife. She's going to think you're trying to get her fat. But we got to go with uh, a big spoon of brown sugar. You know what? Make that a spoon and a half of brown sugar. And I'm telling you right now, okay, this shit is going to be more delicious. It's going to be more delicious than an ice cream cone. And really what I can do, I can let this sit, but I'll put the lid on here. I'll put the lid on here and try not to fuck things up. I might shake it up a little bit just to get it mixed up. Let's see if we can do it without screwing things up. Just kind of just kind of get it get it ready so once it hits that heat, it is all ready to go. Them beautiful flowers, my god. All right, folks. That's the masterpiece right there. Now, as I said yesterday, my dumbass has the refrigerator set way too cold because I like my beer cold. But I put everything in the refrigerator because we're here in the tropics, Southeast Asia. If you leave anything out, the damn ants are going to find their way into your food. So I put everything in there, but the problem is my refrigerator is too damn cold and it froze up my oil. But that's not a big issue. I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, I didn't learn my lesson yesterday because I was drinking too much. But today I think I'll learn my lesson. That shit's got to sit outside. But let's recap what we got going on here. I got vegetable steaming. I got rice cooking. I've got the meat prep for the stir fry. And all I'm waiting on is the oil. So we're doing we're doing real well. And I've got this this uh, sweet chili sauce right here. Now this is for like the final product. Once I get done, this is like a dipping sauce. I like to use this as a dipping sauce. You can get this sweet chili sauce here in Thailand, very cheap, and it's so delicious. I mean, it's it's delicious. That's usually not the brand that I buy. I'll have to show you what what I buy. It comes in a big bottle. It's cheap and it's most delicious. I'm gonna get my camera lady a break because even though that camera weighs about two pounds, I know she's getting tired. I'm gonna give you a break, and when we come back, it's time to put fire to the masterpiece. Thanks for joining me. All right, folks. While well, my camera lady took a break, I went ahead and chopped up the new tonight's fresh vegetable plate: onion, pepper, tomato. What I'm doing right now, I'm getting a few basil leaves. All right, these basil leaves mm, smell absolutely delicious. They're big in Thai dishes, and I'm going to put a plethora in our dish tonight to to just add some flavor. So I'm not going to use them all, but I'm going to I'm going to pick those off. And the rest are going in the ref for for tomorrow night. So these, these right here, you know, we go to the market, it, we, this is for tomorrow night. We already have enough damn food already. So uh, the basil, and all I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna trim the stems off of here. You don't really have to. Most people don't eat the basil leaves. I mean, you obviously can. But the basil leaves are just basically there for, for the flavor. But sometimes I eat them, so I chop the stems off. That's just me. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I don't give a shit. I do what I want to do. Nobody tells me what to do, people. I do my own thing. I'm, I'm a trendsetter. I'm a pathfinder. I do what the hell I want to do. So I'm taking these basil leaves, just chopping off the stems. Because I will eat the fuck out of them. I don't give a damn. And I got enough basil leaves here to add into the stir fry. And what I'll do is just go ahead and put them in here. I'll just go ahead and add them, add them to our mix right here so I know where everything is. Alright, so I got them in the mix. 
and come over here. I'll show you what we got going on with the rice. You see how it's cooking? So if you see, these vegetables are already starting to steam, and the rice is already boiling. Now these little rice cookers, these little rice cookers, you gotta watch them. They will boil over, but if you leave them kind of loose like that, all right, it's not that big of a deal. But you gotta you gotta watch these little small rice cookers. All right, they're not perfect. They're not perfect at all. All right, so while that's going right there, I'm gonna get me a drink of beer. Priorities. I clean up a little bit of this mesh. So it doesn't go down my sink, clog shit up. And man, look, if you if you don't think you can cook, if you never had any cooking skills, it doesn't matter, man. I just want you to get in the kitchen and mix it up because even if you come up with the worst dish in the world, your wife or your girlfriend is still gonna love you. She's gonna say you're the sweetest guy in the world because you try. Now, all of you, Admittedly, you can't be great cooks like me. All right, my dad is an expert cook. Okay, I've always been a, been a good cook. I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're gonna end up being an expert cook. But you, what do you really want? You just really want to let your wife know that hey, baby. You know, I thought about you, I tried to cook you a meal, it didn't work out, and it don't matter, she's going to love you. Okay, so I stir this rice, folks, and, and I'm not the expert on cooking rice, because my rice sticks all the damn time. But every, but once, I will stir these, uh, these mixed vegetables, the steamed vegetables, and just let that keep rolling. All right. And I like to use this wooden spoon when I'm using my wok. All right, so what do we got? We got enough oil here, thawed out, ready to go. Maybe not. Damn, I gotta quit putting this in the ref. This shit freezes. I gotta quit doing this shit. All right, so I'm gonna stop it for a few minutes while I thaw this shit out. Thanks for joining me. All right, folks. I was able to put enough oil in here just to get it started because my, like I said, my dumb ass <clears throat> keeps freezing the shit. So I got a little oil in here. All I've got is a little oil. Once I get this, this oil warmed up, my, my concoction of what I just created right here is about to go up in there. And I'm going to tell you right now. If you've ever cooked in a wok before, you can't be pussyfooting around. You can't go to the fucking bathroom and come back in 10 minutes. You can't go catch the game. Once this wok starts talking, you got to be here and attend to this. It's like it's like a damn bitch giving birth, all right? You can't walk away from this motherfucker, right? So we finna get down and dirty once this son of a bitch right here fires up. And you know what? It's, it's already hot. I don't know if you can hear it. I got my steam shit going on over there. It's time. It's already. It's time. It's past time. Here we go. Look at that shit. Basil leaves going in first. Oh my goodness. The smells coming off of this wok is like being in a chocolate factory, folks. Oh my goodness. How do you describe something other than what I usually say in my videos as absolutely delicious? So men, I'm gonna tell you, if you think you can't cook, you're just making excuses. You're just making excuses why you don't want to cook. Whatever, that's your prerogative, you're the man of the house. But I highly recommend that once, maybe twice a week, you get in the kitchen and you mix this shit up and you cook for your lady. You know what? That bitch ain't never gonna leave you, man. You know what? If you can dance, if you can dance and if you can cook, ain't no woman leaving your ass. It's not gonna happen. 
Women ain't impressed by a brand new cars. They're not impressed by swimming pools. That shit don't do nothing for them. They want somebody to just treat them right and treat them like they're the queen. And the way to do that is to drag them on the dance floor and dance with them and get in the kitchen and cook for them. Oh shit! God damn, look at that. I'm about, about fucking put my eye out trying to make this video. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. This right here is gonna turn out to be absolutely delicious. Now since my other shit is thawing out, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here with my secret sauce. Kind of slow it down a little bit. And you're gonna see how when this when this cooks down. When this, when this cooks down with this sauce, with the olive oil and the oyster sauce, and I'm gonna cut it down a little bit, folks. You're gonna see how this stuff reduces down. Right now, it looks like a watery soup. And if you try to do this in the rice cooker, it ends up being a watery soup. But when you put this shit in a wok, it will cook down. It will reduce down and it will become a thick sauce. But if you saw my video before when I was trying to make honey chicken in a rice cooker in that hotel room in Cebu, it became sweet sloppy chicken because this don't have the heat that this guy does. That's just the way it is. It don't, it don't have the heat. So keep focus on that. But what I got to come up with I gotta hit this with just a little bit more oyster sauce. It's a little bit more oyster sauce. Not too much, but just enough to get a little bit more flavor in there. My wife is kicking me, but the thing about her is she doesn't know how to cook when I'm cooking. So she's got no idea what I'm doing over here. Oh my goodness. It's delicioso. And for my lady viewers, you know, when I look at the stats, about 20% of my viewers are ladies. Ladies, feel free to cook this for your man because he's going to love it. He's going to love this shit right here. I promise you. I promise you, your man is going to love this right here. Okay, but since 80% of my viewers are male, I'm talking to you. And what I want you to do is get in the kitchen. You don't gotta have anything particular. Get a wok and a rice cooker, and I want you to mix it up for your lady, all right? Or for all my gay friends, okay? Mix it up for your husband, mix it up for your wife, your whoever, all right? Let's just say this, mix it up for your significant other. Is that better? Because I got a lot of gay friends. I got a lot of ladyboy friends. Maybe they... Alright, so... Even though 80% of my guys are male, maybe 80% of my guys are gay. Shit, I don't know. I don't care. So we're going to change it up and say, look, whoever, whoever your significant other is, get in the goddamn kitchen. And throw down. That's all you got to do, people. And I'm going to tell you right now, I smell that vinegar that I put in there coming off of this, and it may not be what I want. And the next time I'll make this concoction, I may take that vinegar out of the recipe, but the jury is still out. Because in my experience, anytime you put vinegar in a dish, you're gonna smell that goddamn vinegar. It don't, it don't thin out. It's like the, the dominant force. Let that shit, let that shit, just let it cook down. And look, I don't, I don't want to put this on here where it steams it. I want this shit to boil off. I want it to boil off. I do that on purpose. I'm not a dumbass. I want it to boil off because I don't want the end product to be a thick sauce 
that I can basically pour over this rice. Oh yeah, that fucking rice is straight right there, folks. That shit's straight and it's already clicked over to warm automatically. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this, all right? The rice is done. Go ahead and disconnect that. And the only thing we're working on right now is the stir fry. And, and you might think right now that it's too liquid. And it is too liquid. This is not what I'm looking for. I am looking for the end result, and pardon the noise here, but I'm, I'm gonna cut the extra exhaust fan off. I'm looking for the end result to be thick sauce. That's it, I want a thick sauce. I want this shit to start thickening up. Patience. Patience is the key, my friends. Just let it keep cooking down. This video is in real time. Folks, there ain't no camera tricks here. This is me cooking with my old lady behind the camera. That's it. So if you say you can't cook when I'm cooking, you just pull the shit. You can do it if you want to. That's it. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit because I'm like full blast right now. And when you get these cheap, when you get these cheap woks, the temperature gauge don't work that great. It's either full on or full off. It's like adjustable, but it's not. You saw I turned it down a little bit, it like cut the heat. If you get a better one, you got the money to buy a better quality cooker where the thermostat actually works. That's what you need. But Folks, I'm working with a $10 rice cooker and a goddamn $10 wok. And it's either fucking wide open or it's off. There ain't no in between. It's either wide open or the motherfucker's off. So I gotta turn it back up and it'll go back to wide open. And I just have to deal with it, alright? But look, we're we're far from we're far from being done because we're not we're not going for soup, we're going for a sauce. Sauce is thick. Soup is like liquid. Right now, that's soup. I'm looking for a sauce. Oh, yeah. Cut. Folks, I cut the heat on this. We're nearing completion right here. And this stuff looks delicious. The sauce is starting to thicken up, and as it cools, it's gonna get thick to the right consistency. That chicken looks delicious. All right, so once this cools, it's time, it's time for me to set the table. But I'm gonna tell you, when you put this chicken and this sauce over a bed of rice, you're not gonna taste any better meal, I promise you. So you can look at that right there. And come on over here, steamed vegetables are ready to go. I stirred up the rice, that rice looks beautiful. Now it's time for me to set the table for me and my Filipina. Now, now you're thinking, you're thinking we're gonna sit at the table. And sometimes we sit out back on the, on the concrete picnic table. But you know what, in other cultures, different cultures do different things. Right here is the table. All right, that is the table right there. So, we'll start out dropping down the cold plate right there. And we'll let this cool down for just a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice and we'll serve up the rice. And, uh, usually I like to put the rice in a, in a pot because it's easy to put in the uh, refrigerator for the next day, a little leftover rice. So I'm just gonna take take our vegetables and set these guys over here. Get them out of the way. I'll just take our rice. Go ahead and, and dip our rice over here in this pan right here. And folks, I'm gonna tell you, this rice came out perfect. And what I went with was one metal cup of rice and a bottle and a half of water. Now you didn't see me put the, the extra water in there, but that's what I had to do. I was getting down, I put a total 
of a bottle. I'll put a bottle and a half, pretty much, of water to get this rice the perfect damn consistency. I'm gonna tell you, it's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the rice down here, down here with our meal. Go ahead and set the table. Plate from my Filipina. Got a plate for myself. And get a couple spoons and a couple forks. I see no need for a knife. There we go. All right, let's get the. Uh, my, my friends always put the salt and pepper on the table. Now, sauces are optional, but you always got to put the salt and pepper down there. It's just got to be done. Okay, I got a beer. And like I said, we got the fresh plate. So what am I missing? I'm missing the steamed vegetables. Let me plate, let me plate those. Let me plate. Now watch this, folks. This is hot as shit, right? Now I'm either going to make a mess or I'm going to get it right. Watch this. Boom! Shit, I'm good. Look at those steamed vegetables. Put these right down here next to the fresh vegetable plate. Okay? Alright, now these are fresh today. These are from yesterday, but they're steamed. They're just as delicious. I'm going to put my special sauce down here. That I'm going to... I'm going to have to patent that. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to clean that sauce because that sauce is delicious. So I'm gonna come over here and we are gonna put this on the plate. Now look, before you saw how liquid it was and now you see the sauce has thickened up. It's cooled off just a little bit. But we spent a lot of time, I'm not gonna lie, we spent a lot of time to get this sauce to reduce down to where it is truly a sauce. I mean, if you like things like General Cho's chicken, where you like to put the sauce over rice, um, this right here, oh shit, this has reduced down perfectly. And this is what we're looking for, because what I want to do is put a better rice on my plate, and I want to put this dish and this sauce over a bed of rice. That's what I want. Okay? And you're not gonna get a better meal than this. We didn't spend a whole lot of money on this meal. We spent a little bit of time, folks, but you know what? What do you wanna do? Go to McDonald's and kill yourself? Or you wanna spend a little bit of time and put down a damn meal that is 100 healthy cheap and it's going to be absolutely delicious so the only thing i'm missing folks do i have some napkins here i'm going to put a napkin down for my filipina a napkin down for me and there's one thing i just need to know what my beautiful wife wants to drink water she just wants some water she's easy cold water or room temperature cold, cold water all right folks so just take a gander at this while I get my wife some cold water. And I think we're we are ready. We are ready to throw down on this meal. So I'm gonna say a couple more things. Just let me sit down here and talk to my subscribers. You know what? Different cultures do different things. And here in Southeast Asia, a lot of times we eat on the floor. When I was in Afghanistan, we eat on the floor. But this is delicious. The rice is perfect. I got fresh vegetables and steamed vegetables. And folks, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on this, I assure you. So if you go out to eat at, uh, you know, in the West, if you're in the U.S., you go out to eat at Longhorn Steakhouse and spend 60 bucks. God damn, folks. You, you can spend, even in the West, you can spend 10 bucks right here and you have a better meal and a better dining experience. So enough said, it's time to eat. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being a subscriber. And I'll see you on the next adventure or on the next meal.